So today we're inside barn one where we have our group of 130 uh, ewes. They're gonna be lambing out into the, starting probably next week, May 1st. They're coming along. Some of them got some nice udders developing. And what we're doing today, because it's pouring rain out, and we're not in the fields today, that's for sure, but uh, we're setting up some of the lambing pens. We've got a few set up for starters. Right behind me along the concrete wall, Brian's hauling in a few more hog panels to set up the balance of them. Each barn, each group of uh, ewes that lamb, we set up at the top of the barn, we set up a, what we call a warming barrel. Inside the blue barrel has a, a heating lamp that's used typically in a chicken coop. It's a red lamp bulb and it provides heat. And then what happens is this one here will be basically for some tiny lambs or la uh, triplets and ones that look like they're maybe struggling but we use some hay twine and we uh, tie it on to the hog panel gate to ensure that it doesn't tip over for any reason. Uh, I think we do that in two spots or just one? Pardon? Just one. Okay, and inside there we got the heat lamp. We'll turn that on in a second. And then we have the warming box up here and this is designed to provide heat it's got a heater inside and we have openings on the top and we have got space for two lambs inside open it up like that see there's two two spots that's the heater so you do need power power source and we use that for when we have um lambs that don't get when they get chilled, if they get pneumonia, or like if they're cold, if they're hypothermic, if they don't get the colostrum from the mom with it upon being born, it seems to work for us. We don't, we used to bring the animals inside the lambs, the tiny lambs into the house and warm them up with various methods, but uh, we've evolved to this. This works much better for us and we don't have to bring the lambs inside the house anymore. They go into the heating box and then they're put back in with the moms. Sure, we make sure that they've warmed up and then they can feed off the mom and they have a much better uh, success rate. Our death rate has decreased from barn two with the last lambing cycle. You can see that udders are starting to develop. It could be any day really. We have more Ritos in this. Hello. We have more Ritos in this group, so the udders will be bigger, the bellies will be bigger. That one's coming along. That one's coming along. That one's coming along. Inside this barn, we have Ritos that, that'll be their fourth year lambing. And uh, 80, there's 80. That will be their third year lambing. And there'll be a handful that are replacement use. It'll be their first time lambing. So we'll have a mixture of, uh, you know, involvement. While these beauties behind me enjoy their corn, we're gonna spread some straw inside the barn and uh, finish setting up all the uh, lambing pens so that we're all set for next week. There's a lot of straw in that bale. We're gonna use it all on the one side. Oh, it's pouring rain again today and the uh, this here coverall has some leaks in the in the cover. So it does get wet when we do uh, get some weather. So we're gonna be using this one round bale for the whole south side of the coverall. And we're gonna to top up all the uh, jugs so that when we start lambing, it's got a good base. This barn's been cleaned out just uh, last week and it's all fresh bedding in here. And in order to keep things warm enough for newborn lambs and to remove the dampness because it is a concrete uh, surface, we have, to, we have to ensure that we have enough uh, uh, layers of bedding and that'll keep the uh, chills off the newborn lambs and it'll also um, help them with a first great start. 
All righty, we got barn one all set up. And we're ready. Each pen, we've got 19 jugs set up. Each one has two pails, one for water, one for feed. Lots of straw. Keep things dry as dry as possible in here. And if they want a lamp, we are ready. The other side will probably need some more straw tomorrow. We'll see how we see how we'll do with the weather. If it gets really wet overnight with the rain that's coming, we may need more straw.